going on, and welcome back to another Destiny video. Um, today I'll be talking about a whole bunch of Destiny news from today, guys. Uh, let's. St I'm gonna first start off with the Gallowing, guys. Uh, if you don't know what the Gallowing is, it is a brand new sparrow that is shaping like a Gallowing. Is shaping even a word? But shaping like the Iron Gallowing coming with the Rise of Iron. And if you haven't seen the trailer, I'll link it down in the description box below. It will be the first one in the description. As well, so you guys can view it if you haven't seen it. If you were like at work or just doing other things with family stuff, dude, when it's summer and stuff like that. But um, going through the uh, stream that uh, I wa that was on today, um, I did take some notes on it, uh, just like to uh, try to let me remember what they talked about, so I can make this video for you guys. I know it's not like the first video out there on YouTube who. Uh, already analyzed everything and stuff like that. I was doing some other things, so that's why it's, this is coming out like a little bit late in the afternoonish and stuff like that. But um, in the live stream, guys, uh, they just showed uh, the Cosmodrome and what it looks like when the Rise of Iron drops. Um, unfortunately, uh, 360 or Xbox 360 and PlayStation users, guys, you won't be getting this. Like I said in my in one of my videos, I'm really sorry, but um, it's, I think it's time to ditch. Uh, older gen consoles now. Uh, games are getting more. I wouldn't say like more, way better than ever. Uh, if you watch the stream, you can see that uh, the weather effect looked phenomenal. Uh, and I don't think I think they didn't put this in, didn't implement this into Destiny because of the, the last gen or the older gen consoles. I'm not saying that they just dished it because of those those two uh, consoles. It's just that. Um, they're trying to make it balanced on both the newer gen and the older gen consoles, but um, uh, we'll just have to wait and see uh, if those people who are still on 360 and PS3 that they'll upgrade to PS4 and an Xbox One so they can play this DLC because th they would not want to miss this DLC because it looks phenomenal. Um, going through the, the different uh, parts in the stream, uh, they did show uh, some new areas uh, like in the rocket yard. If you keep going past the train. On the right side, there's a hole in the wall, and the and they even said, uh, one of the developers said, "Can we go through that?" And DJ's like, "No." So they're kind of hinting something back there, and he's and he was saying something about uh, the Titan commander in the tower. I forgot. I think Savala. I think that's his name is. But um, he said that he may lead you on a quest to that area. Um, if you watch the stream, you will know what I'm talking about. But um, just the way that they, the artists at Bungie made this. Uh, how they're making this DLC with like these splicers uh, just destroying everything that's metal, like cutting up metal and like the tanks that they shown in the like the divide. I think it was. I think that's in the first area that you enter when the game first came out. But um, where we walked to be any part of the game. But um, just how like you'll see shanks up in the air that are trying to repair stuff and you can shoot at them and stuff like that. Also, uh, the warlock titan and hunter armor that they that the, the Deej was wearing and the other two that were the other characters. Deej was the warlock, of course, because he's a warlock type person. But um, those those type of armor look phenomenal, guys. If you haven't seen them, uh, like I said, you uh, I think the stream will be up later tonight, I believe. It might be out right now if, you, if you're watching this video. But um, I'll try to find it. Then I'll link that down in the description box as well, so you guys can watch it. But um, I think the armor that they're making looks phenomenal. Um, just stuff like that, but for the most of the stream, uh, they were uh, talking and showing concept art for the uh, Gallowing, which looked really cool actually. They were going, and the end product looks really cool. Like I said, just watch the trailer and it looks phenomenal. But um, another big thing is that DPJ, another Destiny YouTuber, caught uh, DG's light level when he was in, he was fixing his controls. I think he was switching. And to and for like, I don't know what he was doing, but he was doing something like that. And in the right corner, it said uh, the gamer tag that or the profile that he was on. And then underneath his gamer tag, it said it's light level, of course. And it said 355. And uh, this is not confirmed, guys. Uh, we don't know if that is the maximum light increase. I would like to see that go up a little bit, probably to like 375, 380, a little bit. But um, I want I don't want to say it's gonna go up to that light level. Um, they still haven't told us the light level yet. I bet they'll tell us probably when it starts getting closer to the launch and stuff like that. What the light level is and stuff like that. Also, I like how they're keeping this uh, really secret for the community. So like even though they have shown us gameplay and stuff like this, um, I like how they're not exploring areas that you're gonna see in the campaign and stuff like that. So that's mainly it from the live stream. Like I said, 
that I caught that was pretty interesting to tell you guys. But um, another big thing is, what about the people who already pre-ordered Rise of Iron, just like myself? Like I pre-ordered the Rise of I pre-ordered Rise of Iron before they even announced. It. I think I pre-ordered like a month ago. And to people are asking questions like, will you be able to get it and stuff like that, even though you you've already pre-ordered? And to be honest, yes, you will. Um, I bet Bungie will announce something, uh, like a code that they'll send to you. That uh, for the Iron Gal Galahorn and the Galarwing as well. So um, we just have to wait and see what they'll do. Uh, to be honest, don't fret over it. Don't say, don't like, oh, I need to go pre-order pre it right now. Don't do that. Just wait until what Bungie says about it. So if don't say like, oh, I have to go re-pre-order it because if you do, then it, it's going to be really bad and stuff like that. And then you have to pay more money if you already bought, put all thirty, put all your money on it already, like myself. So um, just wait for an announcement from uh, DH or from Bungie on their Twitter. If you don't follow their Twitter, I'll link that down in the description box as well. Um, I think that's mainly it, guys. Oh, also, PlayStation Juniors, you'll be getting, uh, I think, three exclusive it is. Um, you get a blue ship. Um, I'll link, it was This was uh, announced on Twitter. Uh, I forgot the uh, person's name, but I think uh, he's at Bungie. I don't know where he got this information from. But it looks like you get a blue ship. A new PvP map that we haven't seen, and uh, and I think a a quest. I think it's mainly a quest. I may be wrong a little bit, but I know the first two are correct. A, a blue ship that looks like the new monarchy ship, the commodus ship. I think it is. It's called, and a uh, PvP map. Uh, there might be a little bit more, but uh, I just need to look at the picture again. I'll link that photo down in the description box as well. Um, I think that's mainly it guys also if you're looking for a clan to join uh, I just made one just barely if you want to join uh, I already have one person who followed so thank you for the person who followed, who uh, decided to come and join um, if the clan will become active guys until we get I think four or five people in there uh, so if you want to join if you're looking for a clan and just trying to find people to play with especially since it's iron banner this weekend if we can get about 20 people in there uh, we can make uh, several groups of teams. You can go in there and just have fun and uh, just kill stuff like that. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I think I've mainly covered everything from your live stream. If I might, I might have missed some stuff, guys. Um, really, I'm sorry. Uh, the, just the Galahorn just being in the Galar Wing. Sorry, I keep saying Galahorn. Just the Galar Wing being released. And this was originally leaked before, guys. This was so. Yeah, I think it's really cool that they showed something this cool um we haven't seen any weapons that look like a sparrow but i um, hope you guys enjoy this video please rate comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys later the clan will be in the description box below see you guys later